Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 5 of the Let's Play Sipta series. And in the last episode, whilst out hunting for flots and boxes, we ended up having a bit of a nightmare when we, first of all, found a Black Corsair fighter in, in a cage down at New Kemi Docks, and then proceeded just a few minutes later to get him killed straight away. But uh, then we also went all the way down to a uh, Grey One's cave way down, down here. And when we went into the cave, our Fighter 3 teleported up on top into this sort of Grey One city thing up here and was also killed. So we went from two thralls to zero thralls pretty quickly. So I made it back here and off camera I went back across the road to the, the new... The River Watch Keep, and I got myself a new Fighter 3. And this guy has turned out very well indeed. So he started off with a standard 490 HP. He got up to level 9, and by that point in time, he had leveled up to about 1600 HP. And then he got his level 10 perk, which gave him plus 15 in vitality. So he now has a health of 2646 at level 10. He also has really good percentages, so his vitality keeps going up, and so does his strength, and so does his grit. So his armour gets better, his strength gets better, and his vitality keeps getting better. So, superb. He is decked out with a set of the Hyperborean Slaver armour again, and he's using the table leg that we got out of the flotsam boxes from the end of the last episode. So it is just a... It is a leg of a table with a corner of the table, and it's a two-handed mace, and it it does... What was it? 50-something damage? 54 damage with 42% armor pen. So, superb weapon. Okay, so that lucked out, so we've got a decent fighter now. Um, what we need to do is... I had to expand the base, so I needed a few more... Um, ...working tables. And I didn't have enough room, so I've just expanded out the front here. I've made a little space here, moved the blacksmith bench into the corner, uh, moved a bunch of storage boxes into the middle, and what we'll need to do is I want a carpentry bench and I want a tinkerer's bench in here before we do much else. But before I do that, while I was leveling that guy up, we went back down and we got ourselves a bunch more lots and boxes, so I've put them all in here. Uh, what is our... Okay, so yeah, 11 flotsam boxes. So let's just grab them. And let's start opening them up, because hopefully we're st still trying to get this uh, shovel. Right, so the first one, corrupted stone, hardened brick, dry wood. Let's throw that in that box there. Open that one. Dyes, don't want that. White dye and black dye will keep. Uh, scraps. Hmm. Steel bars, excellent, and brimstone. Uh, Silverstone, glass, shade bloom, another table leg, and some honey. Uh, frost lotus seeds, elixir of numbing, cockail, bestial memory, but that's got to expire in yeah, a few seconds anyway. False mandrake and orange vico, so we don't need them. Uh, well, uh, I think we've already got... I've got a plant box here. Oh no I don't. Well, I'll throw that in there. Not caring about that. I've got a box with uh, potions in it. Oh no, that was the box with potions in it. Which is now full. I'll take the oil out give you that. Okay, let's open that one. Wood brick and iron reinforcements. So iron reinforcements can go in there. The brick can go... Oh, it's hardened brick. I've now got 604 hardened brick, and that's just out of boxes. Uh, wood needs to go in... Which one is it? This one? Dry wood, whatever. Uh, another table leg. Weapon hand... Six weapon handles. Iron bars. Rare spices. Feline pelt. Thick leather. That in there, put that in there, and get it. 
into hide. Uh, more hide, gossamer. More wood, more corrupted stone, more iron reinforcements. More seeds, more potions. I've only got one left and more dyes. So, yep, we still didn't get a, a grave digger, I think that's what they're called. Uh, put the hides in there. Let's get them going as well. Put that in there. Gossamer in there. We can make silk out of that. So, let me see. I'll just chuck as much of this away as I can. Uh, hardened brick we've got to put in here. Uh, iron bars we'll put in there as well. Uh, weapon handles, I'll put them in the, Put them in here, because that's ultimately where we'll require them. I'll put this in there as well. Did I not get two of them, or am I just seeing the same one twice? Yeah, put that seeds away. And corrupted stone is in here. And corrupted stone is for making map rooms, but there isn't any obelisks around that I'm aware of in the the Sipta map. So I'm not sure if there's any use for that at all. Uh, what have I got? Eyes? Where did the eyes go? Oh, that's where I put the table leg. Yeah, let's just chuck all that in there. More Arden Brick. Steel fire. Right, put that in there. Right, so what I will do is I'll take that steel fire that we've got and I'll stick it in here so we can start making steel, but one of the options, one of the objectives of today is to actually go and make, get our own steel. Right, so we're going to start off with making a carpenter's bench. So that's going to be in here, carpenter. And what does that need? Well, five for the hammer, oh, come out there, five. A crafting stations, carpentry, it needs 250 wood and 100 stone. Well, we can do that. 100 stone. Put the resin in there. And 250 wood. Okay, and we'll stick it over in this corner. Like that. And I want to start making shaped wood, because a lot of our uh, improved benches that we're going to start moving on to are going to need that. Right, I also want to make the tinkerer's bench. Uh, armor, armor smith gives you the tinkerer's bench, yep. Yeah. And we'll also need weapon smith. Weapons Weaponsmith. Okay, right. What do we need to make that? Where is that? Tinker's bench. 100 wood and 25 iron bars. Well, that's also easy. 25 of them. And... What was it? 100? There we go. And then we can put that. Try and get it in the corner. Put it roughly. I can always spend time lining up. You move about too fast to do this now. We need to slow down the movement speed a bit. There we go. That'll do. Right. Because uh, what I want to do, armor reduction kit, that's what I want. So I need plant fiber and fiber. Fifty of that. Oh, I don't have much in the way of plant fiber. So let's just go and grab some. And six. There we go. Because I'm going to make myself some new armor as well. 
armor reduction kit and I want five of them. Oh, too much. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, right. I don't have enough thick leather. So let's grab that. Uh, and I need to make some heavy padding. Uh, well, let me just check. I'm going to make myself this armor here. The Thurgical Aegis. Because it should give me extra health, extra follower damage, and extra concussive damage. So we've got all the stuff we need. We're going to need some more iron bars, but we've got all the stuff we need, but it is heavy padding. So, heavy padding. And that is a... Uh, that came from the first battle pass. I believe it was chapter one's battle pass. Need some bars. It's very nice armor indeed. But it is on the heavy side, which is not great for, for my character. So I'll use the the armor reduction kits to bring the weight down. Right, so helmet, one chest piece, one legs, one bracers, one sandals, one. Crafted, they are. Okay, so that's got to take a wee while to craft up. Uh, I'll put the oil in here. And in order to, we're going to need more oil to make the weapon kits because it needs oil. Although it only needs five for the first one, but one for me, one for the, the thrall. So what we're going to do is we're going to start oil and what I like to normally do is get an Alchemist 3 and an Alchemist 3 can make oil out of ichor and bark but we haven't found an Alchemist, well we did find an Alchemist down in the nuke in the last episode but uh, we, ha we haven't found one nearby. So the other options is to squeeze seeds to make oil or a uh, fish and in order to get fish we need to make a fish trap. So, where is that be under cooking? There it is, fisher. So we need fish trap. And it's made with a hammer. 5F uh, farming? Yep. So 10 shaped wood and 10 twine for each one. How much shaped wood have we crafted so far? 59. Okay, give me 20 of that. And 20 twine. Right, and let's just run down here. Take out the bird. There we go. And then we'll go back on here. F farming fish traps. So we should now make two fish traps. Put them in the water. Oh, there's a croc coming. Oops. Don't bleed, bleed. Chop. You down. All right. Let me. Can you? We're always going to need skins at the moment. We also need tar out of the tanning process. Right, so let's open up the fish trap and we'll just take half the bugs that I've got, put it in there, put the other half in there. Uh, and if we just hit some plants with... Why is my... There we go. Sometimes... Yeah. I've got F10 set up to take my gu gooey away. And sometimes when you bring that back, it doesn't bring back the gathering. So there we go. We're hacking at these bushes and we're just getting the insects. We're not getting the fiber. Uh, don't get them off the berry bushes. Oh, 
Алло. Got now. No. Forty six. Okay, I'll do. Right, let's just load up this fish traps, then we'll just leave them catching fish. No, stand. Where did I put it? It's down at the bottom. Of it. Oh. Is that? Another one, or did that respawn? And it's night time as well. Missed! And we will skin it. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's caught some fish already. Oh, half of them in there. And the other half in there, and chuck that away. And then back up we go. So yeah, the first thing we've got to do is we're going to head out and go and find the brimstone. And then we can bring the brimstone back and we can start crafting a steel fire with all the tar that we've got already in here as the tanning process. Right, put that in there, get that craft in. Make as much hide as possible, because we need to stitch hide together to make our heavy armour. Uh, no, not carpenter's bench. Put it in here. Although we've got too much sticks now. Right, so we have our five pieces of armour. One, two, three, four, five. And we can, so that weighs... Uh, 17 and has an armor value of 80 that was 29.7 and has a armor value of 140 we apply that where did it go put it over here so it still has 140 it still has the health the follower damage and the concussive damage but instead of it now 12. So what was that one that was 17 it's now six so it Ma massively reduces the weight of the that armor and then we can stick it on uh, we'll just throw that in there just now okay we've got our armor we've got our weapons we've got our pick to do the mining we're making fish down there to get the oil that's got to carry on crafting uh, okay so let's take you. You got any food? Yeah, do a little bit top up. Grab some out here. There you go. Right, let's go. So we are here. And what we're going to do it's, it's around here somewhere. It's either this bit's here or this bit's here. So we're just going to follow the river along here, killing crocs on the way, and then when we get around here we should find the nodes of brimstone, which looks a bit different on this map than it does. So in Sipta it's just like yellow rocks, but here they're more like sort of, I don't know, is it stalagmites or stalactites? Boom, 92 damage. Uh, I won't weigh myself down with hide at the moment. Another crop here. So yeah, still no Gravedigger after all those different flots and boxes, so... I don't know whether they've massively reduced the chance of getting it. I'm assuming it has to still be in the game, because we still have those graves. We've seen a couple of graves around. But just don't have a way of digging them up yet. Ooh, hiding in the bushes. Alright, let's see. Missed. 60 damage. 
65, 68, 65. Yeah. And because it's a mace, he's not hanging about poking it with the the pummel end and stuff like that. We had the problem with the trollbane axe with. And of course the trollbane axe has zero armor pen. So this is actually a much better weapon. There we go. And then what's that? We've got three of them now, is it? Decent for leveling up, it's what, just under 6,000 XP each, but that Lacertas, or whatever they're called, down down in the Southern Isle, they were much better. Right, here's a little camp. Let's see who's here. Ooh, a Sath Priest. Nice. Uh, so there's another grave. Archer. Take a you do anything with these? Guess not. Yeah, we'll take the arrow. What's in your chest? What's that? Bone meal. Uh, okay. Oh, it's steel pick. We'll take the steel pick. Now we don't have to craft the steel pick. We just have to repair it. Because if you look at the top left hand corner, I'm now level 34, so in all the levelling up of this guy, I've went past level 30, and it's level 30 you need for a steel. Right, let's keep on running around the corner. I'll have to get some dyes going on this armour next. There's another croc. Two crocs. Only one coming for us though. Easy. Oh, oh we didn't finish him off. Come on. Keep up. More. Oh, where did you come from? Go. Oh. Uh, this is not the turning yet. Let's keep going. More iron deposits. Storm's going again. You can see it swirling around there. Does it show you on the map? No. I would really like to know where the cutoff is. As well. At some point in time, we'll have to find a new base location. And I don't really want to build my base inside the maelstrom. The playthrough I did previously on the map, I was getting annoyed by the maelstrom and the weather because it was a lot really dark. So I switched the maelstrom off. I then went and I built a map, a base, just round about here, maybe over here somewhere, round round about this area somewhere. And uh, obviously that was no problem at all. But then I now know that okay, we're heading north. I now know that that would actually be inside the maelstrom, so the demons would be coming upon me and the, the wind would be damaging my base every time. So I can't build my base there again, or I, I don't want to build my base there again. Right, so we're heading north, so somewhere along here we should see some yellow spikes coming out of the ground. You're a dog. Oh. Oh, it's a hy... Oh, they're not hyenas. What are these things called? Hit it, hit it. An Ard Wolf Scavenger. So they're... 
kind of hyena like oh here we go this is what i'm looking for the valley of the shade so it is just a, these uh, bridge things and these are the brimstone deposits let's get them harvested them as well. Don't need a huge amount and a few hundred will quite easily suffice for the moment. It's easy enough to come back and get more. Okay, over 500 now. Right, it's not that heavy is it? 30? Right, you can carry that. We don't need the salt, and you can carry that. Right, let's just let's just go round in a circle. Because around here somewhere should also be the camp that has the stygy. In fact, that could be it. Right, whoop, right there. Level 35, what should do with some food? Uh, attributes, right, let's get authority up to 10. Uh, and not engaged, so call me a spider battle, so probably that one. And I'll probably boost my vitality up as well. A uh, 50% healing bonus. Okay, right. So this camp here, you can see there there's a Stygian warrior of some sort, so either a fighter or an archer. And there's usually a crafter. Oh, it's, maybe, oh, it's an orb guy. Oh, I hate orb guys. And it's a fighter too. Right, take him out. This is where... I want to come and I want to tame, I want to get a Fighter 3, it's oh, a Carpenter 3. Uh, let me do that. I need a Carpenter. So you... Stop attacking, but attack that guy. Kill the other guy. Come on. Right, you're down. Right, and no. So I need to. By the old serpent, invaders. Just tank this guy for me. Identify yourself. Of course, I also have the journey step of do the crafter. I've got no stamina left. My set, did you see that? Hold in the name of set. Blood of the serpent. Enemies at the gate. Hang on. Torpor is catching up on the on the health. Something. Oh no, it's drink I need actually need war. He's stuck now. Oh no, he's not. Alright, he's almost out. Luckily my guy's got so much HP. And he also has that irritate perk that means he taunts the guy. There we go. Right, so let's Put him on the rope. Grab him. Have you got anything on you? I'll take your iron bar. Is there anything in your chest? Oh, he's got a few chests. Oh, hardened steel, steel. Uh, golden bar, I'll take all that. 
And more of these things. Oh, I've dropped them off my rope. There's the other chest, there it is. Ivory arrows, more steel bar, thick leather. Uh, where do you go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Right, let's grab him. Where are we? He's actually shorter to go that way, but we have to go through Riverwatch Keep. That's okay, we can just run through it. Right, so let's head back to base with this guy and uh, get him on the wheel. And then we'll have a crafter. And a tier 3, it's actually a tier 3 blacksmith is what I really need right now. To speed up my uh, iron and steel production. Uh, yeah, the, what do you call it, the reinforcements. Alright, there's the Catan caravan, so we'll come round in a loop. Uh, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear a crocodile. He's right behind me. You the wrong fight. I also need a drink. Uh, in fact, if I go down here, there is the flotsam chest. But then there's the closed gate that you can't get through, which you open with the lever up on top of the tower. Oh, it is open, so it stays open. Oh, even better. And someone also pointed out that I missed a... What is it called? A something report? Scout report? Right, so there's the flotsam crate. Grab that. And there's the cave where you learn sorcery. So there's a dead body in the water here. And if you interact, a scout report. You know. Apparently, you pick up these scout reports are all across the map, and you take them to some woman up here. This is kind of like the almost the Sepa Maru of Sipta. It's like a friendly trading town kind of thing, and there's someone up there will buy scout reports from you for cash money. My rope is almost broken. But we're almost there. Come on, stamina. Right, so do we have to fully convert it or just putting it on the wheel? No, putting it on the wheel is enough to. There we go. Assign a crafting thrall to a station. Well, we have a crafting thrall on a station, so let's take it off and put it on again. No? Ah, there we go. Right, so a thrall taker, which then... Claim reward, and it's these orbs that allow you to tame... Uh, you may hold down E and command your thrall... Blah, 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 oh no. It just says a thick purple substance, but apparently it allows you to tame thralls quicker. Do we get it? No, we just learn how to make it. So i uh, probably be in an alchemist bench. Right, so what do we have? Let's empty our inventory first. So we'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. We have... Iron bars, steel bars, and hardened steel bars. We're getting a bunch of that now from... Let's open this up, and we've got more die. No luck. A... Okay, so what we need to do straight away is make an alchemist... Hey, what are they called? Oh, I've forgotten. Fireball Cauldron. But I think we are now high enough level. 
So we need to learn steel tools, which we can do. Uh, that's weapons, steel tools. And we can already go straight to the improved fireball cauldron, which is much more efficient and quicker. So that's a construction hammer. So we need... Can we... Can we repair that already? Mm. Not quite up, but we will actually be able to make the next level up once we get steel. So, right. Uh, oh, I'm all confused. Right, construction hammer. 5. F. Alchemy. There we go. So we need 100 iron bars and 50 brick. Oh, well, we can do that straight away. 50 brick. And 100 iron bars. So, where are we going to put it? May as well put it right here beside. Eh, no, we'll put it over here because it actually needs to go in the furnace. So, where would that be? Smithing? No, alchemy? Yeah. Right. Over a bit, over a bit. <sighs> Fuck. Right, so now we can make our own steel fire, which we need tar and brimstone for. Is there any journey steps for this? Tinkerer, so... Unlock weaponsmith knowledge, shall we? We unlock that. Tinkerer. Unlock the Apprentice Tinker Knowledge. Knowledge. Aha. Ah, there we go. Uh, unlock the Weaponsmith Knowledge. Oh, we've already done that. Uh, is this going to be one of these ones that... If you don't do them in the right order, you can't do them. Access our place, a tinkerer bench, which we've got already. Knowledge. Uh, weapons. Where is it? Right at the bottom. Unlock weaponsmith. Oh, but that was maybe not weapons, but... Ah, Weaponsmith is at level 39, so we're not quite ready for that yet. What about... Alchemist access a fireball, so we're going to switch that. Do that. Then it wants us to do an Alchemist bench. Okay, so we're not quite ready to do that right now. And do Steelsmith. Okay, access and place a fireball cauldron. Right, we've done that. Craft tar in a tannery. We've definitely done that. Oh, so heavy. I bet you it's now got to say go and get gather brimstone is harvested with a pick, but we just went and gathered it. And then once you actually do the harvesting itself. Oh well, we'll get that the next time we, we go there, I suppose. Anything else we can do? Uh, unlock Carpenter, we've done that. Craft a stone consolidant. That's in here. So we need fibre and... A little bit of fibre. How much fibre do we need? Four. Let's grab some more fibre. It's going to be busy crafting the steel fire at the moment anyway. Uh, 
there. Let's grab that. Only wanted to make one. Hardened brick. Okay, pull the stone out. Craft the hardened brick. Oh, I have to, yeah, I have to take it into my inventory. Crafting it isn't actually enough. Right, put that in there. Where's my orbs? Put that in there. Uh, uh, where can we dump stuff? Where did I put them? Where did I put them? There they are. Uh, see, put Icar in there as well. Insect seeds. I'll put arrows in here with my bow. Steel pick needs to go in here and I can repair that. But I need steel bars first. Did I not, did I not pick up steel bars? Oh, well, I've only got 14 of them. So, but you've been making steel bars so we can actually stick them in there. Repair the pick. No, nope, need leather as well. And that, I think I've actually got a steel cleaver that I found and a steel sickle, so we can repair these for a fraction of the cost of actually making them from new. But I don't have an axe or a skinning knife. So a steel pick can go in there, that can get chucked. Uh, I need a steel hatchet. And then I can repair the cleaver. Oh, I don't have the expertise, I'll have to learn that. Uh, butcher, there we go. So repair that. What about the sickle, can I repair that? Oh, I need shaped wood for that. Uh, nope, that's over here. 20. So, cleaver. Steel hatchet. So, steel pick, steel hatchet. Steel sickle. Steel cleaver, I just need a steel iron skinning knife okay you get a dismantling bench going soon and get rid of all this old stuff that I don't need anymore uh, right, what will we do now we need to make a torturer's bench. We need to upgrade survival uh, here. Wheel of Pain and then we can craft a torturer's bench. So that's under companions. Torturer's work table. 50 shaped wood, 25 steel bar, 25. So, 50 shaped wood. Why is that out? Oh, we need more. Oh, we just haven't crafted enough of it. Put that in there, light it up. More steel, do we have 50? No, we don't. 
Okay, we need to get some uh, wait around for some more steel to be crafted up, so I will bring you back when that is complete. See you in a bit. And we're back. I was just tidying up my stuff and I realised I actually had 70, 71 steel bars that was in that box that we got out of the... the... Oh, that's weird. I just realised that I picked up that flotsam box, but maybe I didn't pick it up because I, I can't see it. Okay, but yeah, we've got all the items we need now. So... Uh, companions, torturers, work table. Put that here. And the other thing we'll need to learn is the fluid press so that we can squish our seeds and our fish to make oil. Brewer journey unlocked. Put berries in the fluid price. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gone super dark. Five. Let's make. Where is that under? Farming, alchemy. There it is. So we need 50 shaped wood, 10 iron bars, and 10 twine for that. Put the steel bars back in there. Uh, twine. Ten. Don't need the torch anymore. And 50 shape wood. Okay. F. Uh, where was it there? Alchemy. Alchemy when just squishing stuff in a press. We'll stick that there. Uh, we'll grab all the seeds that we've got out of here and stick it in here. So it uses a lot of seeds. We're we'll gonna get we're we'll gonna get ten out of this lot. What was that? Twenty-five seeds was it to make one oil? So let's go and get our fish. See the croc has respawned. Oh, that one's still dead. Okay, take all fish. Take all fish. Should refill that, but I'll do that off camera. This is the most efficient way of getting oil at this moment in time until we can get an Alchemist 3. An Alchemist 3 will be able to turn ichor and bark into loads of oil. Alright, so we put that here and we'll put the fish in. But the unappetizing fish doesn't give you much oil out of them. The savoury fish gives you a little bit more and the exotic fish gives you a little bit more to it. Not perfect, but out of all that lot, we're going to get 40 or 50 oil, which will be enough for, for our first set of weapons. Uh, right, so we now want to make a iron truncheon. So five branches, six iron bars and some leather. Let's grab a hundred leather. Oh, I don't want all of it, thank you. Take 50 iron bars and we'll take some sticks out of here. Stick them in here, make one of them. In fact, let's make two of them and one of them. And then in here we should be able to make. Let me just check. Can we. Oh, we won't be able to make an improved one yet, but the blunted weapon fitting, each one needs 10 of them, so let's take 20. 
and make two of them, one for each truncheon. So, don't need the wooden one anymore. Yeah, we'll have one for our thrall, and we'll have some rawhide bindings. One for there. We've moved up to the next level of truncheon so we can knock people out quicker. Did I not make two? Thought I made two. Which reminds me, how is our carpenter getting on? He's done. Cool. So we can get him on the carpentry bench. And he can now turn wood into sticks and sticks into wood. And also he'll be quicker and more efficient making shaped wood as well. Right. There we go. Two truncheons. Uh, you've got food in your stick. Right, I'm now going to run back to that Stygian camp. Oh, we go. Well, let's go quickly look over here. And see this blacksmith. See, because it's always a blacksmith that spawns here. So see if we can get a level 3 blacksmith. And... If we, if we can't get a decent one from this side, I'm not going to go over and do the whole camp again. But if we can't get a decent roll from this side, we're going to go back to that Stygian camp and see if we can get a Fighter 3. Ah. Right, who are you? Uh, let's take him out. Let's get my shield up. Right, fighter 2. Nothing on you. Uh, I'll take your arrows. Oh, I did. I did take a bow with it, but I don't want to use. Uh, yeah, let's use the bow. Actually, I don't want to use the bow just in case any of them is a decent one. So I'm going to give you that, and I'm going to take that. And we're just going to go... Blacksmith 3! And an armourer 1. Okay. Right, so... You get that guy. this guy back to the base and get him on the wheel and then we'll we'll head over to that Stygian camp and see what we can find over there. Okay, I'll see you when I get over there. Okay, we've arrived at the camp again. So let's swap out his weapon for a truncheon and let's go and see what we can see. I want to kind of take out the crafter first. Who's a cook three? So I'm not that interested in cook at the moment. Can't see the the fighter guy. Oh. to see what looks like a weapon sticking out of the ground and I know that there are various like weapons that just are like lying about on this map that you can just basically walk up and pick up. Just up there there looks like a spear sticking out of the ground. Oh, oh. Next. 
go up, she is down. Let's take that. Oh, there he is, he's standing there. Right, let me pop up here. Oh no, it's just the post for the, the tent. Ah. Right, what are you? You're a fighter three. Exactly what I want. Right, go get him. Can't see him because of these bushes. Oh yeah, we can. There's better crunching and the mod kit on it as well. We can. He's on the side there, right? Out. Ah, that's better. Where are you going? <laughs> I think AI is just a little bit off. So he has 750 health at the moment. Like pre-tamed health, if that's such a thing. So that should go up when he's tamed. Right, sir. Uh, you're currently under the water, so you're clearly drowning, so I am going to rescue you. And you'll be forever grateful for me. We've got a fish trap. Can't access it, but... Right, let's check the chests again. Okay, break that down. Steel bars. Razor arrows. Thick leather. Thick leather. Steel. Iron. Another one? This would be the one here. More of that stuff, glass, glass, and uh, 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 uh. Okay, right, give you your weapon back. And let's, that's a deer. Let's head back and get him on the wheel. Nice one. Okay, see you when I get there. Okay, the blacksmith has just finished. And He's really close to being finished, so let's stick the blacksmith on the blacksmith bench. And that unlocks reinforce, which allows us to make steel reinforcements from an iron reinforcement and a steel fire. Uh, oh, so it doesn't actually reduce the cost. No, it doesn't reduce the cost with a... Oh, you may, you'll need the advanced, um, improved blacksmith bench in order to do that, but... We're getting the we're getting the materials together to do that. Uh, and here we go, it's finished too. Let's take him. Let's just stick up here. Nice here, sir. Alright, so he starts out with 2057 HP. Straight away. What is his chances? Oh, they're not great. Oh, his agility. Ooh, okay. Right, well, five in vitality, so we'll, again, we'll boost up his vitality for the first so many points, and then we'll work on his agility. But we'll have to get him an agility weapon, and we'll have to look out some agility armor for him as well. Kopesh is a strength weapon, so he comes with a strength weapon and a strength shield. Interesting. 18, 17. I actually need to make myself a better weapon too. Okay, but this episode is going on rather long, so we're going to call it a day here, but this has been a very successful day. We've set up a few more of our workstations here. We've went out, we've got brimstone, we're making steel fire, which we're turning into steel, and we've upgraded all our tools to steel tools. Uh, I just have to do the, the weapons and potentially the shield as well now. Uh, and then we went out with our new iron truncheons and we went out and we managed to get ourselves not only that uh, blacksmith tier 3 but we got ourselves a Stygian fighter tier 3 with superb starting health which would be an even better upgrade to that guy who's only been here for one episode don't tell him that we've got to reduce his, uh, his role in the, the team 
But yeah, that's going to do for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the episode, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.